Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss similarities between Prophet Abraham and Brahma. Have you ever noticed that Abraham and his wife Sarah of the monotheistic Muslim and Judeo-Christian religions are nearly identical in name to Brahma and his wife Saraswati of the Hindu religion? Regarding the link between Abraham and Brahma it has come to know. The similarities between the names of Abraham and Brahma have not gone unnoticed. Abraham is said to be the father of the prophets and Brahma is the first created being. Brahma is often seen as the father of mankind. Abraham's name is derived from the two Semitic words Ab meaning father and Raham meaning of the exalted. We might also note that the name of Brahma's consort Saraswati seems to resonate with Abraham's wife Sarah. Also in India the Saraswati river includes a tributary known as the Ghaggar. According to Islamic tradition Hajra was Sarah's maidservant. The names Abraham and Sarah are not only overlapping with Brahma and Saraswati. But there is also Adam and Eve which are also overlapping with Adama and Vaivati. Brahma has will born sons Brahmanaspati and Brihaspati. In the same way Abraham also had two will born sons Ishmael and Isaac. Now we'll discuss the some common points between Brahma with his wish born sons and Abraham. First we will discuss about Brahma. According Hindu scriptures Brahma is the father of all. Brahma's son Daksha was born from his right thumb Brahma and Saraswati dwelt 100 years together and then bore their first son. Brahma's son Daksha is killed at the offering sacrifice before all the gods. And at the pleading of his father Brihaspati Daksha is resurrected with the head of a Ram. Brahma's wife name is Saraswati her beauty is so great so that Brahma grew four faces. To view her from every direction. The river Saraswati has a tributary named Ghaggar. Brahma is lord of paths and friend of travelers. Brahma mediates between heaven and earth. Brahma digs into the underworld to retrieve the sacred cows demons and finds again the light bringing peace between heaven and earth. Now we will discuss about Prophet Ibrahim. According to Islam Abraham is the father of all nations Muslims Christians and Jews. Abraham had a son at 100 years named Ishmael. Abraham almost offers his son Ishmael who is saved by a sacrificial. Abraham a chief example of selflessness in sacrifice. Sarah is Abraham's wife Sarah is beautiful and Abraham is called by God to call the bird then it comes from the both sides. It is mentioned in Surah Bakara chapter 2 verse number 260. Then take four birds and draw them to you then place a part of them on each mountain then call them they shall come to you in a rush. Abraham takes a journey around the entire Middle East along the bodies of water of the Mediterranean the Euphrates the Red Sea the Sea of Reeds. Allah says in Surah Shura in the verses 87 to 89. And disgrace me not on the day when they are raised the day on which neither wealth nor children will avail except one who comes to Allah with a sound heart. Allah says in the Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 126 and 127. And remember when Abraham said my Lord make this city of Makkah secure and provide fruits to its people those among them who believe in Allah and the last day. And remember when Abraham raised the foundation of the house with Ishmael both praying our Lord accept this from us you are indeed the all hearing all knowing. From this similarities we have come to know that Prophet Abraham and Brahma are the same personalities. The purpose of this video to unite the Muslims and Hindus and to worship the God alone not to his creation.